did I just witness? I, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, sir. Bonjour, mes amis. My name is Freya, and welcome back to the sapling. You guys requested I return to this game en masse, and why not? Why not? I've got a spore video that I'm putting off editing because the footage is like two hours long, so I'd much rather record and edit this one for tomorrow than that one. Got a meeting in about an hour and a half, which means I have about an hour to play. Now, there was recently a pretty big update. Got a little ahead of myself. I think it's not out yet. Uh, the developer added a bunch of mouths and new types of fruit, which I'm really excited about because one thing that really bothered me before was that there was only really one way for the plants to reproduce and it was one kind of fruit. So we're gonna dive back into the sandbox, unless he added more scenarios, I don't think so. No, okay, sandbox, let's go. And you guys also requested that I enable mutations for the plants and the algae as well, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, get me something random. One of these days, I'll go more in depth into the like, world generation utilities, but today is not that day. Okay. And you know how I feel about red foliage. Let's make a little one first. Okay, putting on the mutation chances for algae, plants, and animals. What if I, what if I crank these up to 10? You know? Nothing crazy. I don't want anything to die out from instability, but. All right, this shouldn't have any issues surviving. So I'm gonna skip ahead 50 years, see what the population is and then make a plant. Okay, 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 okay. So we have one with the, um, the broad leaves, one with a different root system and one that's taller. That's perfect. I am not getting the additional fruit. Maybe I need to update the game. I thought I already did that, but maybe I didn't. Um, okay. Okay, let's give it a go. No, I still don't get the fruit thing. You know, it's okay. Maybe, uh, maybe the update's been announced, but hasn't fully come out or something? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make the flowers this bluish purple, and I'm gonna make them bioluminescent, because I cannot resist it. Look at that, look at that. Ah, perfection, mwah, chef's kiss, love that. Okay, and again, this is not in competition with anything, so it has no reason to die out. I'm gonna give it another 50. It has not evolved at all. But there's nearly 1,500 of them, so that's impressive. <laughs> what if I jump? Not 250. Jump another 50. Oh, they've changed color a little, I think. Or have they? No, no, that looks the same. Yeah, huh. I don't know why it hasn't evolved. Is that still on? Oh, it turned off for some reason. Okay, now let's skip ahead 50 years. There we go, we got some speciation. Um, one of it lost its flowers, it would seem. Oh wow, that's a lot. What is that? A fruit flower hybrid? It looks like they're overlapping. Ooh, we got a, is that bark? I think that might be bark. Either way, very, wait, what was that? What was, what did I just, what did I just witness? I, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, sir. There's only one of you. Uh, okay. Alrighty then. Well, we're getting some variety in the- Flowers. 
I... I see now why you guys wanted me to turn on plant mutations so badly. Uh, let's make an animal. Let's make an animal. Digging this body shape. I would like an aquatic herbivore that still has the potential to meet. I guess I can just start at the top and let it do its thing naturally. Should I do that? Give it like all the uh, the basic bits and let it evolve on its own? I like him. And let's skip ahead. Let's go 50 years. Uh-huh. Okay, our original guy's still there. We have this other one that I don't quite know how different he is. I would have to compare the two. That would be a really good addition to the game, actually. Uh, the ability to um, direct compare two different species. They might have that, and I just haven't found it yet, but... Hello! Let's give it... A hundred years. I love some of these names. Morticarus. I think some of them have different mouths now, which is good. What I was really hoping to see by now- Ooh, this one has six legs! What I was really hoping to see by now was one of them making it out of the water. What about you? Are you just here by accident? I think you're just here by accident. If that doesn't happen on its own in the next hundred years, I'm gonna do it manually. Let's go! Getting that lovely bioluminescence. But I'm not seeing any land critters. So we, n we must choose a victor. Of all the designs here, which one do we like the most? So you're my OG. But you're actually doing okay. There's 650 of you. This one, Tortinium, looks like its flippers are on the ground, so it might be easy to evolve into something land-dwelling. Gertitus is our six-legged friend. Tell you what, I'm gonna go with the one who already looked like he had feet on the ground. Yes, they have one speed on land. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's give you this mouth, which gets energy from plants. Oh, no, no, that one's still aquatic. Okay. There we go. Okay. I guess I use that mouth a lot, but it's okay. I don't want to change too much all in one go, because I want it to still feel natural. So I'm just going to plonk you on the land. And all of the land is connected for you, which means I only really have to worry about introducing you in the one spot. And let's jump ahead. 250. Look at you! You have little paw feet! You should be on the land, but you're not. I mean, I know you shouldn't because you don't have the mouth for it, but those feet. Those feet. Two alive of this guy. Now, why are you in the water? Does anybody live on land? Oh, wait, I think you still have the water eggs. Maybe that's why. Okay. Oh, Gertitus died out. Okay, who has the land-dwelling mouth? You do. Okay. Land eggs. Can I give you a nest? A 
And just so that I can see you better, I'll bump you towards yellow. What? Oh, it's a uh, bad temperature for you. Okay, let's go back. Will that do the trick? Brilliant. Let's go. And maybe I will disperse you a little bit further afield. I'll be honest, I did not actually finish watching the update video that the dev posted. I watched most of it, um, but if he mentioned, like, a specific release date that happens to be in the future, then, then that is exactly what I missed. Some things are going extinct because of the heat. Let's, let's give it a hundred years. Or not? Oh, they, there we go, there we go. Look at you go! Still kicking. Where do my yellow friends start? Oh wait, I can filter for animals. I didn't realize that. So there's Lentophorus and Trophorus, which are the uh, dominant yellow ones, I think. Yeah, just those two. Okay. Let's mutate one of our sea dwellers into a predator. It gives live birth. It's red, so it kind of camouflages with the plants. Making it the second size. I'm not making it absolutely massive because that would be a bad idea what if i did the third size try that fingers crossed okay perfect let's plonk you into the water and if we skip ahead to an action no i'm gonna save first now let's skip ahead 250. Okay, so we still have our little green friends swimming around, and lots of them. They took speciation to the next level. We still have our yellow land-dwelling friends. This guy has tusks. That's neat. But what about our new friends? No? They went extinct? This one has lights on his butt! I love him. Uncle Laricus. Uncle Larry. We're calling him Uncle Larry with the lights on his butt. Okay, so I guess our predator did not survive. Which is fine, I guess. I just don't know why. I can't even find him in the extinct directory. Oh, there he is. Yeah, what happened to you? Should we try again? I mean, a few of the green ones had tusks. I'm pretty sure some of them can eat meat, and probably do, so I can just keep letting them do their thing naturally, instead of trying to uh, play god. I know it's a god sim, but what happens if we jump ahead 10,000? Oh, well, I have to try it at least once. Oh, I got the last achievement that I was missing. Adventurous architect, play sandbox for 5,000 years. <laughs> oh, we're nearly there. Come on. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Uh. Okay, I don't know if it's still recording. Alas, dear friends, at this point, the game crashed. Not only did the game crash, my entire computer crashed. Uh, the screen went black, I couldn't do anything, I had to force restart it. I did make it to my meeting on time, though. Um, that's not the end of the sandbox. You guys seem to love it, and I'm not done messing around with it. But for now, that's gonna do it for this video, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!